Today I'm going to show you one of the two cards that we did for my open house this week. This card is using a wheel out of the big catalog called Bright Blessings and we're also using some patterned paper from the mini catalog called Autumn Meadows. Something else I'm going to show you is how to use some of the shimmer paint over that stamped image. The first thing that I did is took that piece of Autumn Meadows paper, ran it through my Big Shot and the top note die and just cut off the small portion, the bottom portion of that. Okay, the other thing I did is just trimmed off a small piece out of that Autumn Meadows paper for the top, so that's very easy. So now I'm going to go ahead and work on that middle section. I'm using the stamp color called Taken with Teal and this is my Bright Blessings wheel. I'm just going to ink my wheel and run that across my piece of very vanilla cardstock. All right. When I'm finished with that, what I'm going to do is take a small piece of sponge. I've cut a sponge into um, pies and I have the frost white shimmer paint that is out of the mini catalog. It comes in frost white, champagne, and a silver. Open it up and just kind of dab, pour just a small amount onto your sponge. You can always add more later. And what I like to do is just swipe the shimmer across. I'm going to need a little bit more. And it really dries pretty quickly. We might have to wait just a little bit for it to dry. We'll do a ribbon while we wait for it to dry. It'll curl a little bit, but that doesn't hurt. We'll use adhesive to stick it down. And hopefully we can catch some of the shimmer on camera. That shows up a little bit. One of the things that amazed me is that my ink color did not run when I used the shimmer paint over top. To do the ribbon on the card, I like to use the little slot punch like this and take my card, pre folded card, and just go in just a little ways just to kind of snip that. So I snip one. And I'm going to snip another half or so since I'm using that chocolate chip girl green ribbon. It's a little wider. All right, so I have just a little hole and it goes all the way through the card. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and stick this piece down and then I will go ahead and add the ribbon. Just need a little bit of snail adhesive and Tap that down. There's a little space in there, but that's not going to hurt. I am going to feed my ribbon through and bring it to the front. If you'd like to, head on over to YouTube. I have a video on tying a knot, so I'm not going to slow down and tie this one slowly. You can go ahead and watch my video on that there. All right, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video on creating one of my two cards from my open house. It was this week for two days. I ran a special, so the next time I have an open house like this, make sure you take note and get your order in. Thanks for stopping by. My name is Sandy from StampinSandy.com.